Welcome to Ohm Times TV, a division of Ohm Times Media and Broadcasting. Ninety-five percent of our lives are run and created by our subconscious mind programming. Imagine if your subconscious mind is running many negative, disempowering, and self-sabotaging programs. How will that 95% of your life turn out to be? Would you like help to change your subconscious programming into something that works for you and set it to attract and create everything you desire? Join Tamara Oviat in her show Metaprogramming and the Human Biocomputer here on Ohm Times, where she will connect to the source energy and change your subconscious programming by deleting your negative belief systems. Tamara is the founder of Sacred Activations, a subconscious metaprogramming modality that rewires your brain and shifts hundreds of your belief systems so you can break away from lack, pain, and suffering and take control of what you want to create in your life. Tamara has helped hundreds of thousands of people worldwide, and she is here to help you too. It's not about fighting what you don't want. It's about creating what you do want. And the only way to do that is to change and upgrade your subconscious programming. Let Tamara help you create magic in your world. Tune in every week at Metaprogramming and the Human Biocomputer. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Metaprogramming in the Human Biocomputer. My name is Sarah Garcia. I'm going to be hosting today for Tamara Oviet. Um, welcome. <laughs> Hello. Um, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, today our theme is, it's good to be me. And we'll be running activations to empower. Um, I am Sarah Garcia, as I already said. And um, I am a master uh, sacred activations practitioner, medical intuitive uh, teacher. I'm also a um, integrated energy therapy uh, master instructor. I, um, I began practicing and studying energy medicine in 2015, 2016. Uh, 2017, I was introduced to sacred activations. Uh, a friend of mine um, from a class said, you've, you've got to listen to these activations. I had no idea what an activation was, um, but you have to listen to these MP3s, he said. And, um, and I did. But if you ever listen to a sacred activation MP3, uh, you know that it's mainly silent. Um, and, uh, and so I wasn't precious with them. I just sort of played them in the background when I did my chores, when I did whatever it was that I was doing. And I remember the first time I knew um, something I couldn't explain was happening. I was, uh, I was sitting at my computer and I was paying my bills. And in the background, I had the activation um, be your own heal it playing. Uh, can you guys hear me? Okay, good. Um, in the background, I had uh, the activation be your own healer playing. And I'm sitting at my computer playing my discover card bill, not thinking about anything. And then I hear Tamara's voice and she's mainly silent and she only speaks when she feels really driven to speak. And I hear Tamara say, who says you can't be your own healer? Suddenly my face is crying. <laughs> and I say my face is crying because literally I, I wasn't having a memory. I, I wasn't feeling an emotion. I didn't stub my toe. I mean, I, I was paying credit cards and that's reasons to cry. But, um, but out of nowhere, I was having a physiological response and tears were just streaming down my face. And I remember thinking, something is happening here. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but something is happening here. And uh, from then on, I started buying up every sacred activation I could get my hands on, started telling my friends, family, you have to listen to these things, something is happening here. And, you know, my friend was right, um, changed my life, and it began to change my life really rapidly. Um, 
just a couple of uh, a quick sacred activation stories. Um, there have been times where I've listened to one and something's happened almost instantly. I remember um, I was abroad, I was studying in Bali and at night I would listen to sacred activation MP3s to go to sleep. And one night I listened to one, I think it was um, loyalty, respect and honesty and something like that. And listened to it when I went to bed in the morning, I talked to my husband before I was leaving the hotel, going to be out of reception and totally unexpected and out of the blue, he says to me, um, I just wanted to apologize to you for any of the times I wasn't straight with you when we first got together. I didn't realize that by trying to make myself feel safe, I was actually making you unsafe. What? <laughs> um, so unexpected, um, uh, totally unprovoked. There was no conversation. We didn't rehash whatever had happened. There was no drama. There was none of that. And just, I listened to an essentially silent MP3 to go to bed and the next day had this breakthrough in my marriage, right? Um, uh, my home. I would listen to uh, a, a meditation, sacred activation that Tamara has. It was called um, Get Into the Vortex of the Creation of Abundance. And in it, she runs the activation, Get Into the Vortex of Creation, and, and guides you through to help create whatever it is you're trying to call into your life. And she says, you know, you are this. What is it you desire? You are this, right? What is it that you desire to create? And at that time, my husband and I, um, we lived in a two bedroom apartment, small two bedroom apartment with two kids, two cats, a dog, some fish and, um, and uh, a walk-in closet. You could go in and push your feet against the door to try to just be alone for a minute because there was no space. Um, and so when I would listen to this activation, I would say, I want the perfect house at the perfect time for the perfect money on the perfect land. And I had no idea what that looked like. And, um, and I also wasn't really doing any research I would, um, when I'd be walking in the neighborhood, I live in California, I live in Los Angeles, I would Google the addresses to be like, oh, this is a cool house, what does this go for? $2 million for a, a two bedroom house. What, we're never gonna own anything. You know, that's what the programs told me. That's what my program said. I'm never gonna own anything. And so I would listen to this activation and, um, and I'll tell you within months, we bought our house, we bought like, a dream house, <laughs> not just like a house, but like a dream house. And that's where I'm recording from today. I have this beautiful view, like this Rocky Mountain view. The energy here is amazing. And this, it came to me, us, um, not long before lockdown. And so, and we ended up spending, you know, the world's crazy and we're spending it in our beautiful home, on our land, with our kids, with space to go somewhere, <laughs> I'm going to be outside. Um, so it's just been a blessing upon blessing upon blessing um, with sacred activations. I, um, during lockdown, during that time, I became a practitioner. What, you know, had time on my hands, became a practitioner, would practice on anybody and anybody who would let me. Um, and it just blew my mind. In the beginning, I would just feel energy a little bit. And then the more I did, the more my own consciousness expanded, the more I would start to hear things and then doubt what I was hearing. And so the person I said it to was like, oh, that's accurate, right? And it became this game where it's like, I, I can't stop doing it. Like, how do we, um, how can you explain how everything that we're taught, the limit of everything that we're taught, the way things are supposed to be, how hard things are supposed to be, that it doesn't have to be that way, right? Um, yeah, it's just this amazing game that I love to play and see what happens next. Um, so yeah, now, like I said, I teach. I teach medical intuitive. I teach uh, sacred activations practitioner one, uh, master practitioner. So every modality I practice, I teach. And I'm so excited to be hosting. And I wanna actually thank Tamara as well. Um, thank Tamara for bringing this modality in and for continuing to be brave enough to just stand in her power and bring in what comes in to affect all of us. And we're all here right now, right? So it's really cool. So thanks, Tamara. Um, oh, so I guess today's theme, uh, when I decided I was gonna do the show um, and meditated on what should I do this on, I heard, it's good to be me. It's good to be me. And I smiled. 
I said it again, it, it's good to be me. And I smiled again, right? Like, and I've been doing this experiment all weekend. Hey, say it's good to be me. And seeing if it's just it's me, those words only makes me smile or if it makes other people smile too. So like I take a moment and say, it's good to be me. No, say it, I can see your faces, say it. <laughs> it's good to be me. Does that make you smile? There's something about that, right? And it made me think how many times in my life I've thought or I think it's good to be them. It's good to be him. It's good to be her. You know, it's good to be there. It's good to be someone and somewhere other than who I am. And how disempowering that is. How easy it is to compare, to compare talent, to compare looks, to compare thoughts, to compare money, to compare, 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 compare. And really, you know, how much this world encourages us to do that, right? You know, we're going to be doing an activation later called Disconnect from Mind Control of Advertisements. Think about everywhere that you go. And I talk about this with my kids, you know. Um, our basic society, capitalism, right, is constantly throwing us these messages about how we're not enough, right? about how our, our bodies, our, our features, our wrinkles, the tracks of where we've been, our bumps, our lumps, our shapes, everything that makes us like our yummy people and unique and beautiful, right? That it's unsightly, that we're supposed to be like this. And not only that, but it doesn't, it doesn't just stay one thing. Like we don't get to just strive for one thing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, it changes people, it changes with the seasons, what we're supposed to wear, the way our body's supposed to be shaped, the way our voice is supposed to sound, um, what kind of goals we're supposed to have for our career, for our family. And these programs are huge. And it's easy to plug into them and to always feel like you're not enough. I mean, the good news is it's not personal. You know, they're not doing it to make you feel bad. I mean, they're doing it to hate, make you hate yourself. But it's only so that you can buy something, right? <laughs> That's the system. So it's not personal. They're not doing it to make you feel bad about yourself. They're doing it to make them feel good so they can make money and you can buy something and it's gross, right? But how, how do we stand in that? That energy of it's, oh, that's cool. That's the new fad. I, I'm, it's good to be me. It's good to be me. So we always feel beautiful. We always feel brave and it doesn't necessarily take bravery, right? We don't have to push through to just stand in our own light, to stand in our own power, to share our opinion, to take space, you know, to, to strive for things and to know that we deserve it, that all of it is obtainable, right? You know, exactly, to, to not need to fit in, not to make ourselves smaller, to fit into some kind of box that really is imaginary. It's all imaginary, right? So today it's good to be me. Um, I'm gonna go over some of the activations that came through that we're gonna be going on. Uh, we're gonna do after the break. Second. So um, some activations we'll be doing, we said disconnect from um, mind control of advertisements. Um, yeah, the messages that we're being sent constantly affect us, right? So the more that we are able to hold our own vibration, the more that we're able to just stand in that, you know, and to just be okay. Like legit, I feel that that's a birthright. Each one of us has our own unique, beautiful gifts, our own unique, beautiful energy signature to offer. We came here with that. It's intelligent, you know, it's, um, and it's perfect whatever it is that you're working on, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. And it's good, right? I think it's a birthright to just be okay, to be good. Um, we're gonna be doing zero to seven. Uh, this is a huge um, uh, deactivation. It clears out some of those, some of those hundreds, thousands of those programs from those years, 
you know, psychology says uh, zero to seven, right? We get the programs that we run on for our life, right? And those, it's all good, right? Everything, every program that we've acquired, we've acquired it because it helped us survive, helped us get to where we are right now. So none of it is bad, but just like in your computer, when, you know, some programs you used to run, some games you used to play, websites you used to go to, the cookies that have built up right, that are bringing these things into the algorithm that you're not into anymore, we can clear that out with sacred activations, right? We can upgrade them. Um, it's received, we're going to be doing a nervous system upgrade. <laughs> First, we're going to be doing a nervous system upgrade um, so that we can actually bring in these energies and we can begin to integrate these energies, right? We're electric beings. It's all circuitry. It's all circuitry. Um, yeah, and how beautiful that upgrades are available, right? Um, we're going to be doing a body image um, uh, activation to help clear out what society says we should look like. Um, we're going to be doing a competition lack and limitation because it's so easy to fall into that comparison, right? Um, I remember, I'm probably going to butcher it, uh, but there's, there was this thing I'd read just about how in the garden, all of the flowers bloom, right? But they don't, they don't bloom less or judge who's more beautiful. They just all come up and they all bloom and they all bloom in their own beauty and their own colors and shapes. And um, yeah, I think that's so important to be able to recognize the beauty in others, to be able to feel good and excited for people and feel good about us, right? and feel good about us. Um, imposter syndrome <laughs> deactivation. There's a biggie, there's a biggie. You know, um, uh, imposter syndrome, you know, always worried that they're gonna find out. They're gonna find out you're not actually what you say you are. You know, you're gonna find out I'm not actually, I'm not actually, I'm not actually good enough. You're gonna, they're gonna find that out at some point. Um, uh, yeah, about not being good enough. Um, we're gonna run a self-forgiveness activation to forgive ourselves for whatever it is that we're beating ourselves up over. I mean, I am the queen of beating myself up over some stuff that doesn't, <laughs> that if I hear somebody else say, it, it doesn't make any sense to me, right? Um, but yeah, there's, that also goes back, I think, to that um, we're gonna be running perfection is not a virtue, right? Because there is this thing where, you know, as kids, we're taught right and wrong. You know, we're taught good and bad. And you want to be good, right? We all want to be good. And we all want to be, there's this perfect, and it's in this concept of perfection, right? Um, again, a trending, sh ever shifting <laughs> um, uh, perfection. And, um, and really, that doesn't exist outside of yourself who you are, what you are, what you're emanating is perfect. And we strive for this thing. I know that for myself, I would um, strive for this perfection and then I would shut down and then not do anything because, you know, it's not, it's not perfect. It's not coming out well. It's not good enough. It's not good enough, you know? Um, let's see, imposter syndrome. We're gonna run uh, confidence and self-esteem, um, help plug you into your own power right? Um, we're going to run a, a shame and humiliation deactivation, right? Um, pedestal. So is there anybody that you put on a pedestal that you think is higher than yourself, that you think has it going on more, that is smarter, has it together more, is uh, more beautiful? Like, you name it, right? We do that. Um, is there a physical healing for prior injuries and other healings? There are physical healings for, I'm sorry, so are there, are there physical healings? Give me a moment on that. Let me go back and I'll circle back to you. Um, uh, but I, I will say that with activations, what I have found is sometimes um, you run something that you think is about something else, right? Like we might, you might run, um, an activation about perfection or about zero to seven, and then have a physical shift in something that you're having. Because our, 
our physical ailments come from these programs as well, right? Um, he said, we're going to be running free at last. Um, get your keys back. We're going to be running, get your keys back. Um, and I think all the ways that we, um, we outsource, you know, like, you got this. You got this. And it, it can feel like it's not, it's not good to be me because I don't got this, right? I need somebody outside of myself to help me with this, to give me the answer to this. Um, okay. um, grass is always greener. Yeah, Self-explanatory, right? Because if, you know, you know, we hear a lot about uh, be here, right? Be here, be in the now, right? And yet so much of our lives or the, the message, right, of society is what's going on over there, right? About obtaining something, about getting somewhere, right? Getting somewhere in your job, um, uh, you know, obtaining the house, obtaining the this, obtaining the that, getting what they're getting, right? The thing that I've noticed is that there is no there. <laughs> there truly is no there. Because as soon as you get there, you're just here. Um, I always remember uh, a quick little story. My daughter, I have a daughter, uh, her name's Addie, and she's 10 now. Oh. Um, but on her fifth birthday, I walked in on her, standing on her tiptoes. And she was just by herself, walking, standing on her tiptoes, looking down. And I said, well, what's going on, you know? And she said, am I five? Yeah, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, you're five now. But wait, I am, I am, I'm five, right? Like, yeah, you're five. So I thought I'd be taller. And that just clicked for me, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. Don't we always, don't we always think we're gonna be different? Don't we always think that like, it's always gonna be different? You know, whenever we hit a, um, a milestone, when I, I remember thinking, oh, when I turn 16 and I can drive, oh, I'm going to be a different person. Well, you know, when I turn 21, I'm going to be different. When, when I get married, I'm going to be different, right? And then we hit these milestones. And I always found I'm always me in that place, right? And I never felt taller. <laughs> I never really felt any different. Um, and so, yeah, um, let's see. I'm gonna be running, I am a big deal. Um, I am a masterpiece. I am worthy. And um, yeah, I'm gonna sort of freestyle, see what comes up, see what comes through. Um, and in just a minute, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take about a five minute break in just a minute so that you can go get a glass of water, get comfortable. When we come back, we'll run activations. Um, yeah, I really want to thank everybody for being here. And, uh, and I'm excited for us to run these energies and see about clearing out some of the self-doubt. You know, I can say for myself that even doing sacred activations and loving it, that doubt would come up for me. I was afraid to host this show. <laughs> I was afraid to host the show because I thought, what if the way sacred activations comes through me doesn't look right? What if the way I do it isn't going to represent it properly, right? That's heavy to always feel like, what if what I offer isn't the thing, right? And, um, and yeah, so I'm excited to share with you how sacred activations comes through me because it's good to be me, right? And it's good to be you. Okay, five minutes. I'll see you guys back here in a few. Om Times TV. Do you want to go deeper into sacred activations, which is a subconscious metaprogramming process? Tamara Oviat is inviting you to visit her website at tamaraoviat.com to sign up and get lifetime access to three free activations that you can listen to anytime you want or as often as you need. If you like what Tamara does and like to incorporate sacred activations into your life, 
She also offers live webinars, master classes, and practitioner's training to further support your healing, manifestations, and expansion. There are hundreds of activations on her website that address different aspects of your life, money, health, relationships, intuitive abilities, and more. Head over to her website at tamraoviat.com and experience the magic of sacred activations. Thank you for listening. Imagine becoming a super influencer. Reinvent yourself, invest in your brand, and then manifest your success with a robust, spheric approach. Ohm Times Media and Broadcasting offers a unique and multifaceted way to become the spiritual and conscious influencer you deserve to be by putting your message across our powerful platform with its proven record of integrity and excellence. Through our produced shows, Ohm Times offers the opportunity to become a social media TV personality, a radio show host, an Ohm Times Magazine columnist, and a syndicated podcaster, all in one shot. By live streaming your show on Ohm Times TV and broadcasting it across the extensive Ohm Times radio and TV networks, you become more than a host. You become an ambassador and a force for positive change. Ohm Times, open yourself to the possibilities. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk a mile in my shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize and accuse. Walk a mile in my shoes. Hi, welcome back from the break. I um, hope you had a time to a chance to get a glass of water, get yourself comfortable. If you can find a comfortable seat or lie down, we're gonna run some activations now. Okay. I'll take a moment to take a couple of expansive breaths. Bring ourselves here to the present. Now I invite you to take your energy down. Imagine your energy, a gold light coming down the center of you. And when it reaches your uh, tailbone, imagine sending that energy deep down into the earth, into the heart chakra of Mother Earth, really grounding yourself in. Connecting. We're going to begin first by running. Perfection is not a virtue. I'm going to begin running zero to seven. Being guided to run Mother Mary.
olmuş. Grass is always greener. Being guided to make a sound. Begin running self-forgiveness. Competition, lack, and limitation. Deactivation.
imposter syndrome deactivation. Shame and humiliation, the activation. from being guided to run Christ consciousness activation. I keep being pushed to say that um, the love starts from within. Oh. starts within each cell of the body. Love is in each cell of the body, radiant. <laughs> I'm hearing how do we, how can we truly recognize the beauty in others if we don't see it in ourselves? We don't love it in ourselves. You are worthy, you are beautiful, you are glorious, you are divine. Hearing run sacred power and sacred power. Deactivate the control of advertisements. Deactivate mind control.
free at last. Hmm. How many lives have you lived with shame? Pedestal, who do you put on a pedestal? Get your keys back. Grass is always greener. I'm a big deal. I am worthy. I am a masterpiece.
And lastly, we're gonna run integrate with ease and grace. These activations are going to continue running and they continue running in the background. You're going to integrate at your own pace. Now I invite you to bring your energy back down into Mother Earth. Rooting down, down deep into the heart chakra of Mother Earth. I invite you to let the energy of Mother Earth, the energy of support of the mother, begin to fill you, grounding these activations, these energies we've brought in today. Allow that grounding energy to come in through your feet your toes, your heels, the soles of your feet, lighting you up, coming up through your ankles and your bones and your fascia, your muscles up through your calves, shins, your knees, your hamstrings and quads, and through the hip joints and the pelvic bowl, filling every cell with light and grounding you up through the belly, the tailbone, the lower back, climbing up the spine, the intestines. Lighting up your vertebrae and your bones, into your ribs, lighting up all of your organs, your stomach, your adrenals, your spleen, appendix, kidneys, liver, pancreas, the heart, the rib cage, the lungs, going up the back, the spine, lighting up the wingspan, up through the shoulders, the heart, the sternum, the shoulders, the throat, down the arms, the triceps and biceps, elbows, forearms, into your hands, lighting up all of the chakras of your hands the palms, the fronts, all the tips of your fingers. Back up your arms into your throat and your neck, into your jaw, joint, lighting up the entire mandible, the teeth, the tongue, the lips, soft palate, the hard palate. The cheeks, the lips, the skin, the nose, the sinuses, coming up through the back of the skull, lighting up all parts of the brain, all of the folds, all of the glands, all of the receptors, all of your antennas, the eyes, the temples, the ears, the forehead, all the way through to the crown of the head, the scalp. Mm. Take a few deep breaths. You're gonna move your hands and your feet when you're ready. Open your eyes. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity today.
Um, remember that with sacred activations, you're doing heavy lifting, you're going to be moving lots and lots of programs and belief systems, making way to shift so much as quickly or as slowly as you're ready, and you have that control. So if when things start to come up, if it ever feels too intense, know that you're in the driver's seat, right? You have the keys. You can say, hey, slow down. You can say, hey, I can use a little more. I can, I'm ready to, to take on a little more, right? Um, remember self-care, drink lots and lots of water, take a bath, Epsom salt's really good. And when the stuff comes up, just be with it, you know? Um, yeah, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Signing off, we'll see you again. <laughs>